Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Rinvas, and this video is continue for the last video. So, in the last video, so we have started how to implement data structures and algorithms using JavaScript. To implement, we use two concepts: classes and objects. And of course, JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language. So, any object-oriented object programming language has two common things, objects and classes. So, generally what is an object? It is just a real world entity. A real world entity is having three things. Here it is, any object you consider. Object is just a real world entity. Entity consists of consists of first one is an identity what is identity is just name of the object identity is a name of an object it is unique it is unique and what is the purpose it is used to access the object it is used to access the object for every object identity is required why we have identities if you think generally, you will get the things. What is the use of identity? Just to access. We have identities. So, when group of people are present, if you want to access a particular person, we have only option is called their identity. Identity is always to access. And next one, second one is a set of variables. Set of variables just to store information of an object store information of object. Variables means what? Data. I have some information. In the same way, every object has some information. If you just take account holder, what is an identity? How can you access an account holder uniquely throughout the world using account number? And what is the information of account holder? Just what is the name? Mail ID, mobile number, address, balance, pin number. So, these things comes under data. So, where we are storing the information means what? Using the concept called variables only. That is one. And next one functionality, just functions, just functions. We can also call it as a methods. If it is a procedure oriented programming, we can call it as a function. Whenever you define the function inside the class and we can call it as a method, a technical terms, we follow. And is like a set of methods used to access or used to process the data. Used to process, to process the information that is. There is a variable called balance in account. If you want to change the balance, right? How to change the balance means either we withdraw some amount or we deposit some amount, we transfer some amount. So, deposit, withdraw, transfer all these things comes under functions. In our data structures also, if you take, if you take one object called a stack is like a data structure consider. It has an identity and of course, we can give any identity is like a stack only. Stack identity, identity is called a stack. And simply here it is an object, we can say that it follows the rule called last in first out. Generally, I am explaining. And here it is identity called a stack. With the help of stack object only, we can access the complete functionality. And second one is a set of variables. Set of variables means what to perform the operations, right? What are the variables we are using? So, that is comes under information inside that stack is nothing but variables. We are storing the data. And next one, how to process the data functions. Through functions only we can process the data. Functions like if you want to push element and if you want to pop the element and if you want to display elements, all these things comes under functions. Generally, if you think you can understand the things programmatically easily. First, a general approach. Just like you can take an account holder only. Identity, unique identity is a account number. A set of variables means what? Just account holder name, balance and all the other things. Functionality, using your account, what all the operations you are performing is what comes under functions. Then think about the technical examples. So, like a stack, 
because as we are following we are going to implement the algorithms like a stack queue linked list and all so that's why i have provided that same example is like identity you can use that stack only or if you want to give any other name you can give but the technically it is better it is recommended to use that name stack this one and here it is what is a class what is a class here it is just class is a representation of object it's just representation representation of object we can create objects using classes only we can create objects objects using class it's just a template simply to say it's just a blueprint of object it's just a model of object general thinking if you want to construct a house directly no one start construction if any company want to release a mobile into the market directly they will not start manufacturing first they will create one model first one blueprint is required to construct a house first we consult one planning engineer the planning engineer will give the plan the plan is nothing but class that will provide the complete information about how the object would be after construction simple for example a model mobile model is there that mobile model is describing that mobile model is different and mobile is different if you specify that model so automatically you can recognize okay these are the specifications will be present in the object nothing but will be present in the mobile so without class object construction is impossible if you want to construct the object classes we have to define so these two things are very very important because in our implementations also we are using classes and objects so that's the reason i have explained these two things first hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you